Well, boys, this has been one of the most boring. Oh, jeez. Oh, boy. Well, let me get back in the cab here and uh, just my damage levels are pretty bad. I'm gonna fix myself real quick. Oh, boy. How do I even? Oh, no. How do I unwedge myself from this? How's it going, everyone? LB here, and welcome back to some more American Truck Simulator. So, guys, before we jump into the gameplay here, I just want to show y'all some of the new mods that I downloaded and installed here. So, over here, the first one is State Highway Patrol. And what this one does is basically change the graphics of all the police cars, so they're not always the same. Over here, I downloaded the Realistic Graphics mod. Basically, it just makes the graphics look a little bit better. We have Realistic Headlighting. Pretty self-explanatory here. The headlights are a little bit more powerful. Then we have reflective chevrons, uh, just basically reflective lights on the road. And that's all I downloaded. I don't want to go crazy. I just want to get one mod at a time here. And of course, guys, I'm still using the Coast to Coast mod and the Real Company logo mod as well. So let's go ahead, make sure all these bad boys are on, and uh, let's get into the game. Okay, guys, so last episode, we had a mission in Georgia, and that's where we was headed to. But we didn't make it all the way. We pulled over in Alabama because I was getting sleepy. And I had to end the video. Uh, unfortunately, when I installed these new mods, the game was like, oh, I'm detected a change. I'm going to go ahead and cancel all your missions and teleport you back to the nearest save zone. So, uh, we're back in Tucson, Arizona, which is kind of a bummer. Uh, driving back all the way through Texas and New Mexico and Louisiana. That's a lot of work. So maybe instead of going that direction here, Let's go ahead and zoom out the map real quick. Now, that's as far as it goes here. Maybe we can find a mission somewhere in another state. Wow, is it just me? Or does the realistic graphics mod really, like, improve the game here? It looks a little bit more crisp, a little bit more detailed, and uh, bright in all the right places, doesn't it? Man, that hamburger up there, that Burger King burger, that looking pretty good right now. I wish I could just grab it and bite it. Anyways, let's go ahead and pop open a job market. We're going to go to freight market here. Okay. So we're currently in Arizona. We've been to California, Nevada. We've been to New Mexico. Let's head up to Utah, maybe. Aha, uh -huh. so we have a mission over here, boys. Camp Verde to Salt Lake City, Utah. I think we're gonna go ahead and grab this one right here. Now, it looks like this one's gonna pay us about 12 grand. Uh, looks like we're delivering some kind of fruits. Almost 29,000 pounds of fruits. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and grab this bad boy. I'm kind of excited for this one here. Okay, I got the car on. Got my blinker on for no reason here. Let's go ahead. Put it in reverse. And I'll just back this bad boy up to the road here. Hold on. Having a hard time seeing what I'm doing. I'm going to jump out the camera here. Okay, okay. Hold, whoa, 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 slow down, slow down. Hold on, my boy. Getting a little too anxious here. Put him back onto the road like so. All right. Jump back into the cab. And we are good to go. Okay, hold on. I'm going the wrong way. So I'm just going to go ahead and take a quick U-turn while no one's here. No big deal. Nobody panic be totally fine I know exactly what i'm doing here okay so the in-game gps is telling me i have about a five hour drive to pick up the freight that's about five minutes of real life nothing too crazy not too oh look at that mcdonald's man that, that was a big mac look that was a big mac i want to see the big mac wait oh jeez hold wait oh back camera back camera oh well the big mac's not on that side of the billboard uh, i'm sure we'll find another mcdonald's billboard somewhere i just i think i'm hungry you know, I think I'm hungry right now. Okay, we are now leaving Tucson. We're going to be taking this right here on I-10 West going towards Phoenix. All right, just wanted to wait for that green there. Definitely want to try to get no fines this episode. Okay, last episode was a disaster. Ended up driving right off the face of the earth. So we're going to try to play a little better this time. As I've been driving throughout the night without my headlights on. Jeez, OB. Come on, man. Got to have your headlights on at night. Gosh, darn it. There she is, boys. Another McDonald billboard. That is a Big Mac. Looking nice and tasty. Ooh, Subway. Train hard, eat fresh. Oh, I think I will. Do you guys remember Quiznos? What happened to them? They were like the Subway rivals. And now, I, do, do they still exist? Let me know down in the comments below. Do you guys have a Quiznos around you guys? Because uh, I haven't seen one in like five years or something. Maybe more. I don't even remember. It's been so long. It's like one minute they were there everywhere. And the next, they were gone. I don't know what happened to Quiznos. Ooh, look at that place over there to our right. I wonder what happens there. Like, who works there? What do they do? This looks like an oil plant or something, but I don't know. I feel like it's haunted. 
I think there's a murder going on down there right now. I kind of want to go over there and see. No, no, no. No, no. I don't got time for that. We got we to gotta behave today. Also, guys, please bear with me. I am suffering from a severe case of the hiccups. Okay? I think one just squeezed out just now. They're in a sentence. But I caught it, and I suppressed it. I'm a pretty good hiccup suppressor, but uh, sometimes they do pop out of me. Dude, slow down, my boy. I got to get over. Oh, jeez. Do I have to get over? I don't even know. Yes, I do. Wait. I mean, no, I don't. No, I don't. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. I almost, I almost caused a collision. I almost caused a pileup behind me. Uh, how many cars are behind me? A good bit. There would have been a lot of deaths and murders on my hands. And I, I just, I'm going to ride in both lanes, okay? I don't want anybody passing me. If I, if I ha hog both lanes, I have to imagine no one can get hurt. I changed my mind. I want to stay in my lane. I want to behave, you know? Let's, let's go out, let's go out here, you know? Let's cruise out here for a little bit, you know? Enjoy the air. Enjoy the fresh air. Enjoy the sights, really. All wheel drive like this. This isn't terrifying at all. I like not being able to see what's coming up next. No, too scary. So personally, I like the Coast to Coast mod, but I feel like the game's better without it. And the reason I say that is because, for example, when I went to drive to Louisiana in the game, there was like no scenery at all. It's just a... What is that? Did y'all see that? I'm pretty sure I just saw a UFO over there. Okay. Well, I'm creeped out now. But uh, as I was saying, um, when I drove to Louisiana, the drive through New Mexico and Texas was so bland. There was nothing out there at all. And then when I got to New Orleans, there was nothing there. It was like one small little town that didn't even resemble New Orleans. So, I don't know. I don't know if it's worth it, guys. What do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments below. I mean, I get a lot of requests. Obi, can you drive to my state? Can you drive to my state? Well, I could. But that's going to take a lot of hours in real life. And then when we get there, it's, it's just going to be a small little town. It's going to be bland. But uh, if you guys really want me to keep the mod, I absolutely will. I just, I want y'all's opinion on it. Do y'all want to see the mod? Or do y'all want to see more like actual gameplay of this? Wow, look at those buildings, man. I've always wanted to work in a building like that. Like, I'm just curious. Like, what goes on in those big offices, you know? Is your... Sorry, I hiccup. <laughs> but uh, what goes on in those offices, you know? Is there like a little dude in there? Just like filing papers and stuff like that. Just, you know, living his own life, doing his thing, working overnight to get his job done. I don't know. Okay, boys, we got a little uh, off ramp here. Definitely going to go ahead and take that one. Hopefully we're getting to our uh, pickup pretty soon here. I mean, we are, we're picking up fruits, guys. Okay. They're probably in a refrigerated truck, I would hope. So, uh, I don't know. But we got to get some fruits to the destination. Okay, there's a grocery store out there that needs their produce. Guys, I have had it up to here with the hiccups, okay? Every time OB's about to comment or something, I'm like, oh, that's a nice bush. I'm like, hiccup! And then it just ruins the whole sentence. Just destroys the sentence. Uh, I'm like, gosh, do it. Can't even talk about a bush in the middle of the road. Frustrated. Oh, look at that. Off the warehouse space to our right. That's good news. Can't wait to buy me some of that. Eh, 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 eh. There we go, boys. Camp Verde. We're almost freaking there. I know I said it would be about five minutes till I got my fruit pickup. Okay, I've been playing for about 20 minutes so far. And I'm still driving to it. I'm not doing too well. I'm probably driving a little too too slow here. That was a hiccup. I don't know if you're caught it. I suppressed that one. That was a freaking hiccup. Man, it's ruined my whole day. Ruined my whole night. No, just I hate them. Hiccups to me. It was like the worst thing in the world. They're so frustrated. Oh. Oh, there was one to do. It just popped out, but oh. No time to edit that one out. Gotta get my booty up this cliff here. Oh, I'm doing it. I think there's two things that YouTubers hate more than anything. Any kind of th sickness or whatever that causes like loss of voice, like strep throat or laryngitis or anything like that. And hiccups. Hiccups to me will like destroy my entire day. Completely. Like you can't record when you have the hiccups. I mean, sadly, I'm, they're not too severe right now. But uh, I hate them, man. I just, I just wanted to go away. And I tried everything. I tried holding my breath. Okay. I tried drinking a gallon of water. You know? What, what do I do? You know, how do you make them go away? You, you don't. Okay. Maybe do I stand on my head? I don't know. Do I stand on my head and hold my breath? I don't know. There's so many old wise... Why am I in fourth gear? OB, go faster, my boy. Okay. Apparently, we're going way back in uh, the middle of nowhere. Pretty terrifying back here. I'm not gonna lie to you, I don't feel comfortable going way back here. This looks like where murderers live. 
But, uh, eh, what do I know, you know? Just driving away from the big city into the middle of the forest at freaking 2.14 a.m. Not terrifying at all. Hello, I'm here to pick up the fruit. I'm here to pick up the fruit. Where is it, please? I gotta get it to its destination right now. Enter. Okay. Uh, wait, wait, what? Oh, okay. So, let's see. It is expected Friday between 4.32 a.m. and 8.42 p.m. I'm gonna grab it. I'm gonna take that job. Be fine. Um, okay. Gonna go ahead and attach to the, uh, the freight here. There we go. I did it. Good, kinda. Go ahead and attach that bad boy. Okay. And it's lifting the feet, and we are good to go here. Okay, guys. So we pull the freight out, basically. We get about a 17-hour drive until our destination here. Shouldn't take too long. Maybe about 30 minutes in real life or so, depending on how bad I drive today. But uh, I'm excited to go to Utah, you know, see what that's all about. Ooh, look at this. E&J Gallo Winery. I have to imagine maybe we're transporting some kind of grapes for the wine. I I'm not too sure, really. You know, they really don't tell the driver all the details. It's just like, hey, you're transporting some fruit, boy. You better get it there. Well, look at it split and in one piece. And I'm like, but what's the fruit, man? What kind of fruit could I be transporting today, sir? They're like, you don't need to know that, boy. It's all a need to know basis. I'm like, oh, man, well, I would like to know because maybe I would like to buy some. They're like, well, you better take that up with the, the owners, boy. I'm just your manager. I'm like, oh, come on, man. What are you even talking about, bro? You know exactly what I'm hauling. I saw you load it in. I'm like, well, that might be true, but I can't tell you. I sort of need to know base. I'm like, well, you're a need to know poop face. Oh, that's a cop. That's a cop. That's a cop, boys. Better be on my best behavior here. Ooh, look at that building right there. Look at that FedEx building. Oh, wow. There's actually freight inside the building. Oh, that's cool. That's like really cool. Oh, I love how detailed this game can be sometimes. Anyways, I'm going to be my best behavior here because we do have a cop behind us. Don't want to run the stop sign. Don't know if I'll get a ticket for that, but I'm not going to risk it. I've been playing too good today. All right. I think the hiccups might have gone away. I haven't had a hiccup in about three minutes so far. I have to imagine that's pretty good. I'm feeling better. My mood is being boosted. My energy levels are increasing. All right. Go me. Anyways, I should probably go ahead and take myself a little nap before continuing. There is a rest area coming up ahead here. I should probably go ahead and take full advantage of that. Maybe even cop off my gas a little bit. That way it'd be a smooth sail into Utah. Gonna go ahead and pull over at the Chevron real quick. Pull up my fuel tank. Get up in there. Slow down. Jeez, I'm going too fast. Eh. Oh, too slow now. There we go. I spent about 122 bucks. But I got a full tank of gas now. Okay, well, I just spent about 122 bucks, but I managed to fill up my entire tank with gas. I'm gonna go ahead and pull up right over here. There we go. Oh, slow down. Oh, jeez. Uh, I think I need to back it up a little bit. Yep, there we go. I can stop the engine. I'm gonna go ahead and take myself a little snooze here. Okay, perfect. Now we are good to back out. Okay, boys, I just went ahead and took myself a little nap here, a little snoozy doozy. Gonna go ahead, get my little booty out of here, and on my way to Utah, because I think the freight was expected between 8 a.m. and 12 p.m., was it? And it's currently almost 6 a.m. on a Friday. I have about 17... I can't make that. I can't make this, can I? I don't know. I'm gonna have to drive really fast if I want to make it there on time. Okay, boys, I know I said I had to behave today in that Kennedy Finds. That's out of the question. We gotta go! We gotta go! I don't have time! Okay, I'm just pulling out into the road. I'm just pulling out into the road. I don't even care. We gotta get our booties over there. Lickety split! Okay, currently in ninth gear. Trying to get up to 10th gear as fast as possible. We do not have a lot of time to mess around here. I, I gotta speed. I have to! I have to speed! Otherwise, I mean, okay, think about it. You get a few fines through, uh, through the police officers. It's gonna be like a thousand bucks tops, right? For like multiple fines. But the, this job's gonna pay 12 grand. So even if I get a few tickets on my way there, I'm gonna have a net gain. Now the only problem I'm gonna have here is if I get a bunch of fines and then I don't make it there in time still. That would probably be bad. I'm gonna slow down here because I have to, but I don't want to, but I have to. Okay, I think this one pretty wide here. Okay, good, good, good. Didn't take any damage. 
Like, kick it back up to 10th gear. We gotta go. It is beautiful out here, though. Look at that water. I wish, like, fish would... Oh, jeez, I was close to that wall. <laughs> but I wish, like, fish would, like, jump. I don't know. I wish it was, like, more realistic. I wish we could, like, pull over, get out the car, walk around a little bit, maybe grab my fishing pole, go fishing, you know? I want, like... I don't want driving simulator anymore. I want real life, full time job simulator. Where like, you do whatever you want, man. You want to get a job? You 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 set your alarm clock at six o'clock in the morning. You wake up and you go find some applications. Sorry, I had to cut that thought pretty short here. I realized I was in tenth gear and I was only going like twenty five miles per hour. So uh, let me let me get at my maximum speed potential here, and then I'll talk about my nonsense. Oh yeah, boys, we are cooking now. Tenth gear. Over 70 miles per hour. Okay, the speed limit is 55. I don't give a darn. I gotta get my butt there. Wait, hold on, I'm dumb. I am so dumb. Oh my goodness gracious. If you look at the bottom of the GPS there, it's saying estimated time of arrival was 5.45. Not that I had to, oh my goodness gracious. I thought it was currently 5.45 PM. I mean 5.45 AM. I thought it was 5.45 AM. No, it's currently Thursday. 1.49 p.m. We have plenty of time. Oh, let me slow it down. I haven't got any funds. Let me slow it down a little bit here. Oh, I'm such an idiot. I really feel like an idiot right now. Well, I guess that's good, boys. Now we don't have to speed. I haven't got any fines yet. And I'm going to keep it that way. We're going to make it to our destination before they even need the freight. We're going to make it there early. Am I going to have to, like, wait outside for, like, 8 o'clock to come by? Maybe. Just maybe. Look at a little house right there with the big tankers next to it. Like, oh, jeez. Is that like his business? Does that person who lived there own all this? And that's like his business? Well, I stopped way too sharply there. Uh, hold on. Definitely got to pull it up a little bit here. We are going, uh, left. Oh, hold on. Not here, though. We got to go left up there. Sorry, as you guys can probably notice, I'm uh, pretty bad at this game. I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm not very good at it, but now we are heading to Kingman? Okay, that sounds right. Okay, boys, so the current maximum mile per hour on this road here is 65 miles per hour. And I'm currently going 30 miles per hour because why not? Apparently, I'm gonna go ahead and kick it up a couple notches. Not gonna lie to you. I wanna get there and I wanna get there today. Can you imagine being a truck driver and driving this thing to like another state and then Someone just hands you like $12,000 and says, good job, boy. $12,000. Can you freaking imagine? Like if, if someone handed me $12,000 right now, what? Well, I'd be ecstatic. I'd be extremely happy. Oh, oh, I want it. Someone go to my Patreon and please put in $12,000. Thank you. Okay, I get the cruise control set at 65 miles per hour. The speed limit is 65 miles per hour. I'm gonna behave. I'm gonna do my absolute best here to focus and get there in one piece. Okay, guys, so it looks like the speed limit has increased to 75, unfortunately. I'm hitting a little bit of traffic here. People keep hitting their brakes. I'm scared to go too fast here. So I know these buttholes are gonna slam on their brakes and I'm gonna hit them. And I'm gonna end up getting a fine. Okay, but I'm trying to like weave in and out of traffic here. It's getting pretty scary though. I'm not very good at this. I'm going to a third person view here. Okay, I'm definitely breaking all the rules and the laws. Oh, never mind. It just became a three lane highway. Things, oh, 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 hold on. The speed has dropped down to 65 again. Okay, so two lane highway is 75, three lane is 65? Hmm? Well, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a chill at a cool 66. Okay, I'm gonna, oh wait, I gotta take a turn anyways. Let me slow it down a little bit. Oh, geez. Oh, oh, goodness gracious, dude. What are you doing? Oh boy. Okay, I'm bad. I'm bad at driving trucks. What could I say? Okay, I'm not very good at it. Oh, definitely overtook that one a little bit here, but it's fine. Oh, there's that subway sign again. What is she eating? I kind of want to know what sandwich that is. Did anybody get a good look at that? Hmm, what is that? Uh, Motor City and Heron? Is that what, Heron? What, what, what the heck is that? Oh, I'm going way too fast. Uh, my boys, if you look in the distance, we have a hamburger on top of a pole. I, I just... I gotta get a closer look here. I just have to. For my own dignity, I need to see this hamburger. Oh man, it's got cheese on it. It's got buns. Hold on, let me get a look. Oh. oh man, I'm hungry. I wanna eat that burger. 
I'd eat that burger right there. That would right there. Even though it's made out of plastic probably or something. I'd eat it. I mean, why not? It looks good. My brain thinks it's good. You know, if my brain thinks it's good, then my body thinks it's good. That's how that works. It's science stuffs. Five, 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 divorce. A hundred dollar down. Oh, that sounds terrible. I hope I never have to dial that phone number in real life. So you know how when you're like, you get a divorce, you guys, you and your wife or you and your husband or whatever, split everything right down the middle. If my wife divorces me, does she get half my YouTube channel? Does that mean she has to start uploading videos to it? That'd be crazy. What if she gets half my YouTube channel and she gets to delete like whatever half an amount of videos that she wants? She's like, I don't like this episode of Amazing Frog. Delete it? I don't like this jalopy series. Delete it? And I'm like, well, I like my Brick Rick series and my American Truck Simulator. So I'm like, save it. And she's like, well, we're getting rid of uh, uh, Build the Knots and uh, the other series that I do. But it's gone. And I'm like, no. But I don't think that's how it works. But I don't know. I'm just a little boy trying to make some YouTube videos. Okay. You know, it's fine. Oh, birdies. Oh, I crashed! Gosh darn it, I got 1% damage from that. I was distracted by the birdies. Darn it, look at these beautiful sights here, guys. It's gorgeous over there. I wish I could drive down there. I'm pretty sure I could if I really wanted to, but I know it's a bad idea. I want to do it so bad. I want to drive down there. Okay, hold on. I gotta, uh, I'm like fighting a battle with my brain right now. It's saying, OB, just drive off the road, man. What's the worst that could happen? And I'm like, well, a lot could happen here. I just spent 40 minutes recording this episode to get to Utah. I don't have time to just drive off the road. Is that the, is that a dam? Well, hold on. Let me drive off a little bit here. Just give me one second here, boys. Can I, can I, I don't think I can get over there. There's a road underneath me though. I don't think that area is accessible. I really want to go down there. I really want to go down there. If I take this road here. Oh, hold on. Bear with me, boys. So I don't think it's going to let you get down there. It looks like there's a fence that goes around a whole thing. Probably a waste of my time, yeah? I think so. So curious. So curious right now, though. Really want to go down there. Hold on. It's going to be a little gap up here at the, the barrier. But then there's a fence as well. Okay, looks like it's blocked off here. Yeah, sadly, I don't think this is gonna happen, boys. But hey, you, you can't say I didn't try, okay? I know you guys wanted to see the dam just as much as I did. Okay, I wanted to see it as well. You can't say I didn't try. I did my absolute best to get down there. I could have tried harder. I could have done more probably, but eh, you know. Maybe next time, I don't know. Okay, boys, so we're back on the road again. I'm gonna behave. I'm gonna be quiet. Um, uh, I'll meet you guys in you. Oh, is that an airplane? Where's it going? No, focus. You gotta freaking focus. Ooh, look, it's Las Vegas. Haven't been here in a few episodes or so. Okay, look at beautiful. We got some blimps over there. We got trees. What kind of trees are these? Are these uh, coconut trees? Pine trees? What are you? What kind of tree are you? I don't know. I heard coconut trees are really dangerous though. Apparently people die from coconut trees. Like coconuts fall off and hit them in the head and they die. Like, like, what do you even say to that? You go to heaven and you're like, and they're like, hey, how'd you die, boy? And I'm like, I died from a coconut falling on my head, sir. And we're like, well, that's a lame way to go out. And I'm like, well, what can you do about it, you know? Okay, we got a police officer right there. Uh... Uh, oh, I'm in fifth gear. I'm cranking down a couple notches here. I am really bad at controlling my gears. <laughs> I should think about getting a truck that's automatic. Do the hard work for me, you know? Let me just drive. I have enough problems trying to focus and drive. I mean, adding shift into it is just, it's too much for me to handle, man. Okay, I'm at a complete stop here at a red light. Oh, now it is green. I was going to take a right at a red turn, which is normally legal. But every time I do it in this game, I end up getting a ticket. I should just behave. I should only go through lights when they're green, no matter what. So my ex-best friend lives somewhere in Las Vegas. It's so weird, guys. He doesn't talk to me anymore. He was my best friend. 
from like third grade all the way till the end of high school. And then I, I met a girl and I got engaged to her and then I got married and he totally stopped talking to me. He hates me now. And I didn't even do anything wrong. I'm so sad. You know, just I'm sad. I miss my old friend. Come on. Gosh, darn it. Okay, this is going to be a hard left to take here. Definitely have a green, but I got to yield to the oncoming traffic, obviously. Maybe I can go right now. Is this? Oh, I got a red. I better not get a ticket for this. Oh, uh-uh. I think we're okay. Yeah, we're fine. We're good. Oh, oh, I think I just ran this red light. Uh, whoa, $960 violation? Gosh, darn it. Man. Oh, I'm an idiot. I should have just stopped. I kept going with it though. It's my own fault, guys. I hit every single red light in the town. I thought I could make that one before it went all the way red. I was wrong. Okay, I broke the law. And I got exactly what I deserve. Wow, this place is beautiful. I want to live in Las Vegas. No, I don't. I know me. I would gamble one time in my entire YouTube channel, my house, my cars, my wife. Everything would just be gone. I would just bet it all. I, I bet big. I do one big bet, and then I'm out. But I bet too big. I just know I would. Is it gonna rain? Look at these clouds. Oh, is that a donut? That's a beautiful donut, isn't it? Well, boys, this has been one of the most boring. Oh, jeez. Oh boy. Well, let me get back in the cab here and uh, test my damage levels are uh, pretty bad. I'm gonna fix myself real quick. Oh boy. How do I even? Oh no. How do I unwedge myself from this? Do I pull it forward? Ugh. Okay. It's fine. Nobody panic here. Uh, what I was about to say was, this has been one of the most boring drives ever. And the way I've been entertaining myself is I pop into this view here, and I've just been cruising along in a cinematic view. Uh, clearly not a good idea. But, you know, I was doing good for, like, the first three minutes. So, I mean, I got that going for me, I guess. Um, let's see, is there, oh, okay, I got 7% damage from that, so, eh, that's not bad, it could have been a lot worse, right? Okay, so I was playing on my phone on Facebook, and apparently I just ran into somebody, didn't even see it happen, really, uh, so, there you go, that's the dangers of texting and driving, or Facebooking driving, <laughs> um, oh, also, I'm about to fall asleep. And I'm running out of gas, too, so it is good that we fueled up on gas. Uh, I'm going to be there in about 56 in-game minutes here. Okay, that's like two minutes of real life. Hopefully, I have enough gas to make it there. It's going to be about 30 miles. I have to assume I can make it. If not, maybe I can drift it. You know? Come on. I'm so close. I just want to get there. I could see the tip of something in the horizon. I think that might be either a building or a bush. I'm pretty sure that's buildings. You guys know what I'm looking at over there? That looks like a building. Oh, <gasps> those buildings. Multiple buildings. Should I just take a shortcut? No, 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 no. Oh, Obi, focus. Just focus, my boy. Okay. There's no need to cut across. Look, there's there's trees there anyways. A whole forest. I couldn't have just cut across there like I wanted. Would have been way too dangerous. And everybody would have died. Probably. Okay, Salt Lake City discovered. We're finally here in Salt Lake City, Utah. It feels good. It feels real good, actually. I'm happy to be here. I mean, it looks cool. Never been to Utah before in real life, so this is all new to me. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and fuel up my truck while I'm here, just on the off chance that I do run out of gas. I definitely... That would be the worst. Backing up your trailer and you run out of gas. I, I just... Oh, is that a hamburger in front of me? Oh, it is. It's looking good, too. Okay, I don't got time for hamburgers. I don't got time. I gotta get this fruit to its destination. Lickety spit here. That looks good, though, don't it, boss? I really just want to take a bite out of that hamburger. Rip the lettuce right from under the bun. <laughs> crazy. Whoa, guys, look at Utah. This place is crazy. Look at all these lights and stuff. Oh, I want to come here. I want to visit in real life. Oh, but it's so far away. No, it's not. I'm in Arizona. Oh, look, another hamburger. And another one back there. Focus, Obi. I'm hungry. In real life, my stomach is growling, but I have two frozen pizzas inside the house. Then I'm about to go up there and start cooking. It's going to be good. 
Yummy in my tummy. I'm excited. I'm super. Whoa, what is that in the background? Like a giant dome or something. Oh, boy. Oh, man. It's gorgeous over here. Oh, no. Am I going to get a ticket? Please don't ticket me. Oh, that dude almost hit me, though. Jeez, FedEx. I know you got packages to deliver, but slow down, my boys. You clearly saw me running that red light. <laughs> come on. I mean, I know it's technically my fault, but come on. You see a truck running the red light? You should probably not turn into it. Just personal advice. Come on, turn red. I mean, green. Don't turn red. Turn opposite of red. Is that green? I don't know. Whoa, it's UPS. What's up, brothers? I used to work with you guys. How's it going, dudes? Looks like they're uh, sleeping on the job. Ooh. Got any hamburgers in there? I sure hope so. I better make this green light. I have hit every single red light so far. Come on. No! Gosh darn it! Oh! Come on! Go! Dude, butthole! Go! Go! Everybody get out the way! I'm about to run it. I'm getting tired? I'm getting lumberjack? Only at lamps? Oh, it's a musical! I want to go to the lumberjack musicals. How do I go to the Lumberjack musicals? Oh, I could go. Hold on. The Monkey King? It's another musical. It's part three. The number two musical in Vegas? Do I even like musicals? I've never been to one in real life. I feel like, personally, I wouldn't like it. But you never know until you give it a chance, you know? You gotta give everything a chance. I can go to the musical and just fall in love with musicals and... Quit YouTube and become a tap dancer? I don't even know. Anything could happen. That looks freaking delicious. Oh my goodness, I am so hungry right now. I need to eat food in real life. My stomach is literally just growling. It's like... Rrr, rrr. I'm, I'm like, oh, hold on. Hold on, Tommy. We're almost done the video, Tommy. Just hang on a little bit longer. I feel like I should run this. I'm just going to keep going. Oh, okay. yeah. Yeah, you better turn green. You bet. You knew I was coming. That red light was like, oh boy. Obi's here. We better turn green. Lickety split here. Oh, there's Eddie's supermarket. I'm going to go ahead and stop here. Eh? Enter. Sorry, I'm in a hurry. Yep, we're doing it. I don't even care. I don't care. I'm freaking hungry. Okay, I'm starving. I just... Huh. I just, I didn't want to spend another hour trying to back this bad boy up. I'm sorry, guys. Okay, next episode, we'll back one up. Maybe, I don't know. Uh, what do we want to do here? Hi, well, oh, wait, hold on. Somebody told me what I was supposed to do here. And I done totally forgot. You know what? Let's do a uh, fuel economy. Wait, do I have, I don't have enough points. I can't do that. Uh, can, do I? How do I do this again? Oh, I can't do it, guys. Okay, apply. Boom. Guys, there it is. We delivered our freight. We got our freaking money. I've been recording today for about an hour and 45 minutes because apparently driving from uh, Arizona to Utah is all an uphill battle. Literally, I've been driving uphill. The speed limit was like 85. I've been going to cool 60 the entire time. So I'm pooped out. I'm tired. I'm gonna go eat my uh, food in real life. Guys, I hope you all enjoyed this episode of ATS. If you did, remember to leave me a thumbs up, maybe subscribe to the channel and hit that notification button if you want to see more right away. Guys, I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye.